Hey guys, this is Jacob from Living Healthy Every Day. Today I got my hands on some Novolin R and a vial and I'm going to try intranasal insulin. So this increases insulin levels in your brain and it bypasses the blood brain barrier by going through your olfactory nerve. Those nerves connect to your, uh, the area where your hippocampus is. So it increases short term memory. It's, it's been proven to, and they're still in phase three trials. They're using it for Alzheimer's to remove beta amyloid plaques. Uh, it's an overall nootropic and brain enhancer, but it, it just regulates insulin levels in the brain. And so it's been showing that it doesn't mess up insulin receptors in the body, just working only on in the brain. So here's the quick how to set it up. So this here is Novolin R, which you can pick up at any Walmart or Walgreens, but Walmart is where I went and got it. Uh, it's only $24.88, about $25. Um, and so what you have to do with this is to make intranasal insulin, is you have to pop this off here. So this comes off of here, this uh, gel cap here, and you can use some tools like this, I'll post in the description below where you can get this. And then you wanna get one of these, this is a snoot. You can just get this on Amazon for a couple bucks. And uh, this is all it is that you need to make intranasal insulin. So there you go, the quick how-to. And then uh, here's uh, your top and you just take this part off here. So let's uh, take this off here. There you go, and now you can just squirt. And uh, when you're, uh, of course, not using it, you can put this back on. So there we go, guys. That's as easy as pie. So here we go. Here we've got nasal insulin. So what you want to do is you want to start off with the day. We always try to do the, the, most, the minimum effective dose when we do this. So the first day, do half a squirt just to make sure you don't have any allergies and anything to this. Not like you should, but it's possible. And then the second day, you want to do a full squirt in the morning. Uh, and then the third day, you want to do one in the morning, one at night. And so these are each 10 milliliters every time you squirt. Uh, so that is going to equate uh, the uh, max dosage has been shown, or max safe dosage has been shown to be 160 milliliters. So I'm sure it's a lot higher, but just in the studies, it proves 160 is fine as a limit. So we're only gonna be doing 30 max at all. So here we go, just start off, you stick it up into your nasal cavity. Oh, that's high up there. And then you squirt. Whew. Well, there you have it. It burns a little bit. But that's intranasal insulin. Wow, it really burns. <laughs> Thanks guys for watching. Comment in the comment section below and stay beautiful.